following up on this Smart UPS 2200, uh, I've basically figured out uh, that the only reliable way to actually get uh, traditional smart signaling out of it is going to have to involve the, a microcontroller buffering all the smart signaling going on inside of it. Because since we have the communications processor polling the main processor all the time, breaking communication between those two is going is likely to lead to some issues. And the way I've figured around that with the aid of a friend of mine is that we can just grab a medium tier development board with some microcontroller which has a few serial parts on it and use that to buffer all the values out of the main UPS process and give them to either the computer when required or the communications processor when required. But uh, that requires uh, for the development board to arrive and it requires for quite a lot of code to be written. So in the meantime I'm looking for ways to just use this unit with APC UPSD and the front panel, at least in some limited fashion. And what I've done right now is just a, a bit of a proof of concept. I've disconnected the communications processor entirely and I've just connected the main UPS processor straight onto the MAX232 level converter which is already present on the main board of the UPS. And, uh, if I just hook, into, hook it into my lab computer, I can operate the UPS perfectly, even f from a completely turned off state. Because thankfully, even though the power button uh, does in some way communicate through the communications processor, it is still connected in the way that it's been with APC UPSs for a long time, in that it's actually connected in series with the power supply for the entire thing. So you can actually use this power button to turn on the unit from a completely dead state and then you can use a computer to signal and on signal and enable or disable it. However, I still want to be able to use the front panel even though I may have to manually activate it in order to do so while using the smart protocol connected to my server. And the solution to that problem is very simple indeed. I'm just going to add a switch which will connect the receiver line of the main processor to either the internal comms processor or to the MAX232, which will just enable me to quickly, at the front panel, switch between manual front panel mode and remote mode, being controlled by a computer. An added benefit to this is that it will essentially lock out the front panel while the UPS is just sitting, so no one who doesn't know about the secret switch can go and fiddle with it. The physical procedure for accomplishing this is extraordinarily simple, because I have removed this zero ohm jumper, which originally connected the comms processor to a main processor, and I've jumpered that to a MAX232. So while I need to do is use a single coil switch to determine whether or not uh, this pin gets connected to either here as if the original jumper was installed or to there as is the case right now with the jumper wire. As for physically mounting the switch, uh, APC handily provided with this little uh, hidden crease in the front panel uh, where I'm just going to drill a hole and uh, have the switch poking out in that direction. It should be quite uh, covert and nice looking even. There we have it, a switch to let us choose which feature we like the least. Let's just see if it works. The switch is currently set to break the COM ports, so we should have a pretty normal front panel activity. Oh, 
that certainly looks pretty okay. So we definitely have a working front panel if we don't have a COM port. So let's just flick the switch and see if the opposite is true as well. So the switch has been flicked. That should not allow us to run the beeper or turn the UPS on. And that indeed seems to be the case. It will not turn off by the button. So let's just check the serial console to see what it's saying. If we send a Y character. Yep, we get our smart. That means we should be able to turn it off as well by sending it to Z characters in series. And yes indeed. And if we flick the switch back, we get the constant stream of data that the communications process inside of the unit is requesting from the main processor. So that's just working fine and dandy. So there you have it. A properly dirty solution to APC's dirty marketing tactics. Thank you for watching. Cheerio.